Hey everybody, welcome back to the vlog. Thank you so much for joining me once again for Tea Time. I really appreciate each and every one of you showing up this morning. So, today's gonna be another Adobe day. Now, in the last video, that video just went absolutely nuts and you guys just had some really great comments. We basically talked about how Adobe was going to take their photography plan and go from, it was $9.99 all the way up to 20 bucks and they were testing it out to see who would take the bait and some people were affected and some people weren't and in the commentary, there was a couple of people that actually were affected and they were being charged that $20 for the photography uh, plan, which I found very, very interesting. Now we're gonna get into Adobe again because they're kind of like doubling down, right? They're get, it, it feels like it's getting worse. Now, let me just say, as of a couple of days ago, Adobe basically said, listen, if you have an older machine, we're not supporting you any longer. Now, what does that mean, Joe? Well, they said that Photoshop will only be available in the last two iterations. So that would be version 20 and version 19. Version 18 will no longer be available, nor will 17 and 16 and 15 and so on and so forth. Before you were able to download any of those previous versions that you would like. So why is this important? Well, the reason it's important is if you have an older machine that doesn't allow you to update the OS any longer to any higher level OS. Perfect example is if you're on a Mac. We have a Mac that we use in the studio that is maybe let's call it six years old, eight years old, whatever it is, and it will only go up to 10.13, and that is it. We cannot put Mojave, which is 10.14 in it. So as soon as Adobe says 10.13 is no longer acceptable to them, we will no longer be able to use Photoshop on that machine or any of their tools, okay? Because they're not going to provide any type of updates, nor the ability to download any older versions. So, for example, the minimum requirements for Photoshop 20 and 19, you would need 10.11, which is El Capitan. So if you only have 10.10, .10, which is Yosemite, well, you're SOL you can no longer download a version of Photoshop to use with Yosemite, okay? You can't, it's just not available any longer. The minimum requirements, for example, for Photoshop 18, which was available a couple of days ago, would go back to 10.10. .10. So you would have 10.10, .10, which is Yosemite, you would have your El Capitan, your Sierra, your High Sierra, and of course, Mojave. You no longer have this ability. So Yosemite, out. If you have a machine that has Yosemite, you will no longer be able to use Photoshop or any of their tools because they're not going to support you. It's basically done. Now, the same holds true, for example, with Lightroom. Lightroom, you're only going to be able to download version 7 and version 8. Nothing before that any longer. And now with Lightroom, you have to have Sierra. That is 10.12. So you cannot have Yosemite, which is 10.10, .10, and you cannot have El Capitan which is 10.11. If you have either one of those two, you can no longer use Lightroom, period. Unless you, of course, have one on a version on your machine. Don't get rid of it because there's no more updates, no more downloads. You cannot get it any longer. They're no longer supporting it. Now, what they're saying is we're doing this basically for your good, all right? So this way we can give you a better experience. So we don't have to put that much work into older versions, okay? We can do more work on the newer versions. Do you believe it? Do you not? I don't know. I really don't know. As it is now, they are just milking it. They are milking it. I don't see a lot of innovation coming from Adobe, number one. Their program, their subscription model is just a cash cow. The money is just flowing in. They couldn't even spend it. It's coming in so quickly. All right, and they're having to do less. And now by seeing this as of two days ago, they have even less to do because there's no longer any type of support for any type of bug fixes or updates or something that might have a problem. They don't have to deal with it anymore. Two versions, that's it, nothing else. So 
Apple's been doing stuff like this for a while. If you have an older Apple machine, they will only allow you to go so far. For example, the machine that I was talking about a minute ago will only go up to 10.13, which is High Sierra. I cannot download onto that specific machine Mojave. 10.14. It will not allow me to do so. So what is this, guys? Basically, it's planned obsolescence, right? Once the thing gets to a certain age, we're no longer going to support it. You're no longer going to be able to use any of the OSs that we come out that are new. So you have to buy a new piece of hardware, even though the hardware is still functional. It's still really good. It's a way for Apple to be able to make more money because they are a hardware company, not a software company. They need you to buy new hardware. And if you hold on to it 10 years, they're not going to get any more money from you, right? They need to be able to make more on you. And the best way to do it is planned obsolescence, basically making machines obsolete after X number of years by saying the OS will no longer be able to be installed onto the computer. So this is what we're seeing from Adobe as of today. Now, if you're aware of it or not, I wanna show you, let me go and open up the cloud here, Adobe Creative Cloud. If you go and scroll down here, for example, at Photoshop, normally this would say install or it would say update or whatever. Here it's open because we're currently up to date. If you click on this and say install, it will install the latest version. If you need one of the older versions, you would click this little radial button here, then go to manage, head down to other versions. And as you can see here, it allows you to download now 20 as well as 19. All of those previous versions are no longer available. It used to be a long list. Now that long list has become basically two versions and that is it. So besides this doubling down what Adobe seems to be doing as of late with now not supporting anything older than two versions and previous to this just last week saying, listen, we're going to go up in our price. Our subscription is going to increase. So I just want to touch real quick on the last video and just clarify something also. So the photography bundle, the photography plan that gives you um, Photoshop CC as well as Lightroom CC and Lightroom Classic. That was $9.99, that's now $19.99. That doubling, the way they are justifying it, let's say, is by giving you more cloud storage. So instead of 20 gigabytes of storage, they're now going to up it to one terabyte. And that is how they can justify the doubling of their price. Nonsense to me, complete nonsense, because we know that storage today is worth peanuts, right? Pennies it costs for storage. And you know, someone like Adobe, they have just storage basically galore. They don't really need to worry about it and it costs them nothing, okay? So I just wanted to clarify that because some people said, oh, well, we get more cloud storage for our double of our price. And you are absolutely correct. You do get more cloud storage, but that is it. Back to today's video that we were talking about. Once again, if you have an older machine, just be aware that your software might not work any longer, okay? Especially if you have an older machine. Look at the machine, look at what version. Now, I was talking about Mac. This holds true also with the latest and greatest of Windows, okay? So look at what version you have, look at how far you can go with it. And for example, if you have a machine that only goes to, let's say 10.11, some of this software will no longer work on your computer, all right? So you're going to have to update or upgrade your computer if you want to use the Adobe products. A big, big issue for a lot of people that really hold on to their older machines and don't buy new machines every three to four years. Okay, something to be aware of. So I hope you found this interesting. And when I saw this, I felt I just needed to report on it to let you guys know so you don't end up with problems later on. So as always, if you enjoy my content, please throw me a big thumbs up. That would be stellar. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button so you can get all my content when it becomes available and click the bell icon so when it is available, you will be notified of it. And finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com where you can find all all the photography tools that I've made for myself and you over the years. And hopefully there's something there that you might like. And if there is, please pick it up and support me. That would be awesome. 
As always, I appreciate each and every one of you for stopping by, hanging out, talking with me, and putting your thoughts in that comment area. The comment area is absolutely unbelievable on this channel. So if this is your first time here, check it out. What I talk about here in these videos is only about 10% of all the goodness that you will find on this channel. Go back to any of the 200 videos, whatever it is, check out those comments and you will learn a lot. The people that you will see down there are almost zero trolls, all smart people that are willing to offer you their knowledge. So check it out. Once again, I appreciate you being here. We'll see you in the next vlog. Take care guys.